What's good YouTube? Welcome to my new video. This time around I'll be doing a video about probably the most underhyped and undervalued common projects. As you guys know, common projects are actually is a brand which is quite well established. They do not do a lot of advertising or any advertising at all. But the Achilles Low are extremely hyped and everyone knows about them. But no one knows about these shoes and it's a pity because they are great as well. And it is the Common Projects Trek sneaker. So you guys probably haven't heard about it and this is why I'm doing this video. And I'm gonna like quickly show you like how they made, uh, what's so special about them. And after that I'll be guys showing you how they look with different pair of trousers and pants on. So yeah, let's get into it. So I got these shoes three years ago on Mr. Porter for 190 euros, but they were on sale and obviously you can also find them on sale because they're not as popular as the Achilles Low. Even popular colors like white or black or with the ones I really like as well, the one with the brown stripe on the side, uh, you can find them on sale pretty frequently. So yeah, go shop around, I wouldn't pay more than 200 honestly for them. I actually got them in the new book and mesh material, which is mad because I thought the mesh is going to get so dirty so quickly. but it's it's actually super easy to clean you just take a damn sponge and just wipe them and they're just clean and super and obviously I, I'm not good at cleaning shoes as you can see I clean a little bit but um yeah they do get dirty relatively quickly but the quality on them is superb so you can easily wash them not on the washing machine I mean just use some shoe cleaner also what I have to mention is that the shoe is not stitched to the upper it is just glued but in order to achieve this look you have to glue them because you do not want the upper too deep into the sole but that also also means that the Achilles low quality is a little bit better. As for all common projects, they are made in Italy as well. They actually feature a Gomos outsole, which is an Italian brand which is making soles, so it's not a buy brand. But they have a good and sturdy grip and they also don't have a lot of heel drive, which is great. You can feel the thick sole though, and you clearly gain two to three centimeters of height, which is pretty good if you're short, dude. Um, I'm like normal size, I'm like 180, so I guess I don't need it, but I also don't mind it. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like a heel or anything. Not that I have any experience wearing heels but um yeah I guess this is not how a heel feels. In the video I will just like show you a couple of different pants and how they look like and you well you should see whether you like it or not. I think they actually look very good with some crop pair of pants or actually with they look actually good with everything. They're very versatile. I'm gonna tell you about why they're so versatile. They're very versatile because they have this very very chunky sole but at the same time they're absolutely very slim. They don't feel like a thick shoe like a Balenciaga track sneaker or like the triple s but they still give off this that vibe shoe and i think if you now look at the trend of shoes right now this is actually what's really popular right now even though i bought them three years ago this extremely super chunky dad vibe shoe from balenciaga like the triple s i think is kind of going away and now the more still dad shoe sort of vibe but slimmer silhouettes are coming more back like the new balances and so on or even the balenciaga track sneakers i think they still don't look as chunky as the triple s so i think they it fit right in this kind of shoe and not only are they superbly made they look great they are comfortable they're giving you height they're really stylish right now at least and yeah i think and they're on sale all the time so i really think uh those should not be overlooked and instead of like buying a new balance which is made out of only mesh material and so on doesn't feature an inner leather lining uh, i think these are very very well worth the price if you get them on sale for like 200 So yeah, um, I hope you liked the video, if you liked it, you can give me a thumbs up or subscribe and look, I'm even dancing for you, like, I mean, come on guys, like, you know, support me a little bit, man, I'm your boy, whatever, I don't just talking bullshit right now. Well, anyways, I hope you liked the video, take care, don't get coronavirus and shit, like, yeah, and by the way, these are Orbit cargo pants, I'm gonna feature them on the channel as well, they look sick, I think, man, they're so good, well, yeah. So, oh yeah, as for sizing, I forgot that. For sizing, same thing as always. Uh, take your common project's shoe size. I always go a size down. So I'm usually a 44. I went for a 43. And they fit perfectly. So, grazie mille, ciao, ciao, tutto. Tutti, uh, my Italian is actually shit. <laughs>